Well, good morning, everyone. Needs more drums, and welcome back to Court Farms. We are in our Thousand Cow series for another episode as we near our goal of just seeing if we can maintain a thousand cows on this farm. So, uh, just so you guys know, a um, new series coming out probably uh, next week or, you know, in the next couple days, something like that. So, uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a fun one. Really looking forward to finally getting that off the ground. And, um, yeah, I got a lot of fun ideas for it, so stick around for that. But, uh, in this series, uh, this is not going to be done, you know, anytime in the immediate future. Going to be, uh, keeping on for a few more, um, you know, in-game months here till the winter. See if we can get, you know, to another winter with, uh, with our thousand cows and, and everything like that. So, um, what we are doing today, we're just going to jump in here. I'm waiting, uh, for, um... Peter to drive up here with the milk truck. We got him delivering some milk, and uh, Jerry's over emptying our slurry tanks. There he is back there. You can see him in the uh, the old New Holland. We got the John Deere heading down to the big barn for some uh, for some feeding. Uh, we got this, you know, huge load of TMR. This is the one problem though with this trailer is that it seems like people don't like to pass it. I was gotta do something a little nifty here. Hopefully we can. Uh, sneak our way past and get into that small entryway over there um, this thing is always a pain to drive around uh, this this map because just the turns you need a little bit of quite a bit of space but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get the cows fed and then um, once we're done with this I have some important business that I need to attend to today uh, we are once again pretty down on silage so I figured today would be a great opportunity to expand our farm once again because as you can see we have tons of cash in the bank and yeah this is this is not helping here what I'm doing oh man this is not gonna end well see, because I can't get in there like this so I need him to move but he won't move when I have this trailer oh man this is the uh, the fun of this this game here if he'll pass me, or if I can pass him. This is not going to work. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back at the farm. Actually, would you look at that? I made it uh, out of there unscathed. <laughs> oh, that's a crash into the pole. Oh man, you can't make this up, man. You can't make this stuff up. But yeah, all right. Well, we almost made it to the farm without uh, any damage. Hopefully that axle can uh, take that hit. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get these cows fed for the morning uh, since we do gotta feed these guys usually twice a day. And then we'll uh, head back up to the farm. All right, here we are back at the farm, and I wanted to take a second here and drive over here, to check on our corn, which looks like it is actually starting to grow. So that is very exciting. We have, we have this field here, and then the field, kind of you can see it behind that hedge, just back there is our second corn field. And so, actually, wait, is it? Maybe it's not, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, uh, it's somewhere that way, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, what I want to do though is I want to make sure that we get this fertilized before we have to, uh, before we risk destroying the crop. You know, once it gets above a certain growth stage, um, we actually risk destroying it if we don't have the right tires. And since I don't have any tractors with narrow tires on, uh, we got to get this fertilized, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, however, this is the first day that it's actually reached its second growth stage. So it'll be like this for a little bit. And uh, that means that we don't have to worry about this today. We can actually get to it uh, tomorrow. So today, a more time-sensitive issue is getting some silage made and at least uh, wrapped and, you know, start getting that fermented. So um, we're going to go through with, I think, our, uh, our field purchase decisions, which I will explain in just a second. I actually thought about this for a little bit, about what fields I want to buy, um, which ones you know, are available to us. And luckily, we have... Some options when it comes to fields nearby, uh, some pretty sizable ones. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. 
All right, so here we are in the uh, good old mini map. And uh, as you can see, yeah, I was right. I think that was our field of corn right there. We were, you know, sitting in this corner looking that way. So we have all of these fields planted with some crops that we will harvest uh, in the summertime, except the corn's going to be a little bit later in the fall, I think. But uh, we have those four fields. We have our uh, one field over here. That's some grass area. We have 109, 84, 85 um, that we, uh, we, we had 109. We just purchased uh, 84, 85, and 91, and 92. So we just purchased four fields uh, not too too long ago at all. I think it was like two episodes ago uh, we got those. So, um, you know, the, the problem with these grass fields is that they you cut them, and you got to wait a couple more months to get the full yield out of them. So you, you only get about uh, three cuts a year, I think, out of all the grass fields. So, you know, we we'll use this area, of course, still this grass area around the barns, this one too. We'll use that probably for some uh, for some hay or whatever a little bit later on. But for now, we're just kind of leaving those. Uh, but yeah, so what I do want to do, though, is buy field 90. And uh, actually, I want to get 110 as well, because there's an access gate to 90 right here. This is actually a little path that goes through a little dirt road. And um, so we can buy this field and we can already access it from the same way we access 91. So that's really close to our farm and very convenient. And I believe 110, I believe there's a gate. Like we can get in kind of from over here. So again, very, very close to the farm. We can just jump right in there, uh, take care of that. I think if not, then you can actually, I know you can get in from the road, I believe, so we can get in there. But yeah, I think there's a couple of entry points into 110. Um, we'll check that out real quick before we buy it. But I do want to get 90 and I want to get 110 if it's available. So let's go ahead and check, uh, check those out, see if uh, they're available for sale. And um, we'll go from there. So I figured we'd... Uh, Give the uh, Land Rover a spin here. Take it out to the um, fields. Go ahead and uh, have a look. Yeah, we're just coming up to field 90 right here. So yeah, so we have a 91 and 92 already, which can be accessed via there's this one main gate here, and then there's a there's 92 off our right. We'll jump in here. There's 91 right there on the left. Very easy. And uh, field 90 is literally just right through this hedge right here. And this is it. This is our. Uh, or well, soon to be ours, hopefully. Um, this big grass area, you can see, I mean, we have just all the way down to that hedge down there, and then all the way across, and all the way to that hedge over there. So this is a huge field, and this would give us plenty of silage. I believe this may be one of our biggest, if not the biggest field we would own if we, uh, if we buy it. So I think we should definitely consider that. If we loop around here, I wanna see if we can get into field 110 the way that I thought because if so I think that may also be worth looking into for us given that it is right across the street from us let's go ahead and uh, have a look here sorry man <laughs> gotta get out of the way here oh man anyway so that's yeah, so I was wrong so I think um there is actually no well I actually know for a fact because I just checked it out uh there is no entrance to field 110 anywhere along this side of the hedge here so we can't get to it from field 91 so we do have to go around you know pick up the uh, entryway here into the uh this valley view uh stores and then we can sneak in right here and so this is 110 right here so yeah another big field uh goes all the way down to that hedge over there and then all the way back kind of wraps around the shop over there you can see on the mini map there it's pretty pretty substantial so um i think if this is for sale if isaac is willing to sell it we're going to pick that up as well because just so close having all of these fields in close proximity to one another will mean that we have a nice uh nice supply of silage for the um for the whole year so pretty excited let's go ahead and find out if we can uh, go about obtaining these all right and so i spoke to adrian and Isaac, who were um, the owners of these fields, and they both said they would be willing to sell them to us uh, at a fair price. Um, you know, this this one, it's huge, but it's also very expensive, but we do have the money for it, and it's definitely going to pay off. You know, we, we definitely need it, and uh, we make so much cash with this milk sales and everything that it it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You know, we'll uh, recoup this value pretty quickly, I think. So we're going to go ahead and purchase um, this field. That hurts the wallet, but it's got to be done. <laughs> and then uh, this is field 110, um, you know, land 128. And actually, Isaac said he would actually even give us a 10% discount on this because we have done some contract work for him uh, over the course of the of the year, past year or so. 
and um, he said we did a good job, and he'd be you know happy to give us a little bit of a, of a deal. So um, we're gonna you know if that's a no brainer, we're gonna purchase that. One hundred fifty three thousand dollars, actually about one hundred fifty four. But um, anyway, so that brings us down to one hundred fifty grand in the bank. I mean, all that we really have left to do is uh, pay off some of our um, some of our leases for uh, or well purchase some of the equipment that we are leasing, which is uh, this tractor and then our wheel loader, which is hiding somewhere i think it's over there in the bunker but anyway uh yeah so we have those two things to pay off but then other than that we have a uh, no outstanding debt you know we have no loans or anything like that um these cows have proven to be very very lucrative so uh yeah let's jump in to our john deere go oh, hook up the mowers and we gotta get started with some uh some hard work on these fields so uh jerry and peter are gonna finish up their um you know delivering tasks or whatever you want to call them uh and I don't know where I'm driving. I want to go put this weight down over here. But yeah, I'm going to... Uh, can't talk. Uh, I am going to get started with silage work on a field... I forgot what we bought. 90, I think, and 110. Our new fields. So I'm going to go ahead and get those all ready to go since we have a lot of work that needs to be done. So enjoy some uh, farming collages and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. wrapped up field 110 here that actually uh didn't take quite as long as i thought these mowers are super efficient i don't know some so satisfying about doing some grass work in this game just going up and down the field i mean everything in this game is satisfying you know that's why i play it <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead over to a uh, field um 90 now which i believe is the bigger of the two no, they're pretty comparable in size, to be honest, I, I think. Actually, 90 might be bigger. But anyway, we're going to go head over there. I think, yep, there's a... I always forget who's driving the truck, but one of our <laughs> one of our employees is uh, over there. Oh, you know, that reminds me. I actually forgot to, uh, to, to pay them. <laughs> um, let me get to the field real quick, and we will take care of that, because that is very important. I, I always forget. It's, you know, start of the month. i got to remember to do that. Um, I feel like I always, always end up forgetting, but remembering like a day too late so uh, I don't want to be too late for their paychecks let's go ahead and just pull up into the field here and then we will get that all figured out all right there we go 9,000 I think it's a uh, five for Jerry and four for Peter and uh let's go ahead and get started with this this is actually a pretty big field as you can see and I wonder that that hedge over there is a little bit of an inconvenience but you know nothing too uh too crazy that we can't deal with yeah, I'm actually having a good time doing some of this uh, grass work by myself. You know, I feel like I always have a lot of help with this, but today I opted to kind of just take it solo. Uh, we don't have much else to do, and so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take care of all this. Talk to you guys in a bit.
All right, and I just wanted to take a second here and show you guys kind of what I've done. So with this field, I've actually split it into uh, two fields here, divided by kind of that little hedge over there. I just feel like it made it a little bit easier to navigate. You know, I know we have this tiny little pathway through the middle that I'll probably get rid of when we have the chance to uh, plow this again. Because I don't really think, I mean, we need that unless other people use it. But they could just drive through the grass anyway, like who really cares? So, um, yeah, we are done with this half. So let's go ahead and get started on the second half. And it looks like if I just follow my line here, I should be able to get right up to that hedge and then just kind of follow that, you know, down the other way. Just kind of pick this up. Actually, you know what? Why don't we... Yeah, we could do it. This might be a little bit easier. Let's just follow this way. Then we'll just bring it down here and uh, bring it around. And th this part's way smaller than that. I mean, that took quite a bit to do. Um, thank goodness, you know, we're only doing grass work. <laughs> Nothing ever takes too long when you're only doing grass work. Uh, but we're going to get a lot of bales out of this field, I feel like, especially once we um, get it replanted with some actual seeds rather than just, you know, like the uh, regular grass. Uh, we'll, you know, once we get seeded grass in here, it'll be very, very fruitful for us. And so I am super excited to finally get these fields and get this, you know, farm expanded a little bit. Uh, we definitely need it. You know, we have enough silage bales, it seems like, but we're having, I think we're kind of right on the verge of, of not being able to keep up at least through the, uh, through the spring. This winter will be good because we'll have, hopefully, well, we'll have at least one, possibly two bunker silos. I mean, we'll definitely have more than one. We have those, those two really big cornfields, uh, but yeah, I think that should not be a problem for us at all to be able to, uh, have enough silage for the winter but you know just things to think about just trying to stay on top of stuff and um any day that we don't do work you know it's a day wasted and we had we had the money to spend so i figured you know why not expand the farm a little bit well we can let's go ahead and get this wrapped up and then i will talk to you guys when i'm done all right just wrapping up here this took literally no time at all to do this one and uh it's only about noon which is perfect um, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna see. Uh, we have a lot of work today with these two grass fields. I would like to get everything baled today because if we get it baled, you know, the sooner we get it baled, the sooner it will start fermenting. Um, and that's, you know, it takes a couple days to get that done. Actually, uh, almost a month, I think. So, we'll see if we can get that done in time. But for now, we're gonna head back, pick up the, uh, the wind rower and the nice thing about silage is that we don't have to tet it so we can just go get it into rows pretty quickly and then uh hopefully get to bailing i am going to try to get this all done like i said on my own just because um you know jerry and peter uh did some deliveries this morning and they'll probably do some more a little bit later but i mean there's really i don't know i just kind of want to get get these uh, grass fields done myself see how they they are and plus i just haven't had a lot of time to really uh you know, use the new John Deere. So I'm a little bit selfish and uh, I am going to clean this up a little bit later, but for now, I just don't have time. So we're going to park this in the shed as is. We got a lot of uh, grass work ahead of us anyway, so we're just going to wait a little bit to clean this all up. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the tether hooked up, or uh, not tether, uh, wind rower, and head back over to probably start with, I don't know. We'll see which field we end up starting with, but one of the two. <laughs> It's gotta be one of them. So uh, yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do a field 110 first here. Just get this out of the way pretty quickly since this seems to be the uh, smaller of the two. Yeah, this tedding usually, or not tedding, geez, wind rowing <laughs> usually takes no time at all. So we're just gonna go ahead, jump in, get this done. And um, yeah, I think we can we can get everything done today if, we, if we're really productive here, so. I know we got to feed the cows again, at least the big barn. Uh, so we'll get to that a little bit later. But for now, just keep on pushing on here. And um, enjoy another little montage of some uh, wind rowing.
All right, just got this last little strip right here, and uh, we are done with this field. So this took a little bit of time uh, when rowing is a little bit slower than mowing, uh, obviously. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and head over to uh, field um, 90 now and go ahead and get that started. So I will see you guys over there. All right, and we are just wrapping up on our uh, last little spot of the field here. Uh, if I can make it around, yeah. Collided with the hedge a little bit there, but oh well, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, so we are done uh, with all of the wind rowing in fields 90 and 110, our two new big fields uh, that we just purchased today, which means that uh, now we can jump into bailing. So it is only 3.45 which is awesome. And uh, I think we can get, I wanna start with field 110, since that does seem to at least, I don't know, I, I forget if it's the smaller of the two. I think it actually is by a couple of acres. I mean, just visually, it looks like it's the smaller of the two, but yeah, as long as I can get 110 somewhat bailed today before it starts getting dark, I know we gotta feed all the cows once more, um, so that's gonna take some time, so I don't wanna be working too long, but I would like to start getting some silage fermented as soon as possible so if we can at least get you know a good amount of bales done before let's say i'd even say we get we can work a little bit later tonight you know it's a beautiful day oh there's um there's a uh, peter coming up with the slurry trailer they had him uh jump over to the um empty out some of the slurry tanks at the at the uh, home farm up here um, since they're getting you know they're about half full but better stay on top of that and uh they, they the cows produce so much that you know i know we still have to fertilize the uh, cornfields with our slurry but we will do that tomorrow um that's you know we planted that a little bit later anyway so no big deal but yeah let's go ahead and i think i'm just gonna stick with this tractor to be honest with you i really really love driving this it's nice to you know get some hours on it it's a little bit new i'm just gonna go ahead and back this up into the shed over here and I know it's a little bit dirty I'll clean it later just for now time is kind of of the essence and uh, these things are always a pain to back up I absolutely hate I mean I I love it in the field you know these uh these steerable um trailer axles but when you're trying to back this into a shed it it just doesn't react quick enough at all and you know you have to almost like act like you're mainly steering with the axles and it doesn't it's just very finicky and very difficult to work with so i'm sure i've complained about that before but you know still uh still holds true so got that parked up for now let's go ahead and talk up to the baler there goes peter driving away with another full tank and we will head over to field 110 get that bailed like i said as long as we can get that done or you know see how much we can get done in like the next like two or three hours or so and um We'll just go from there, but as long as we can get some bales fermenting, we're running pretty low on silage, and I'm a little bit worried that we might have to actually buy some more tomorrow morning, uh, because these will not get fermented in time, and yeah, we're just gonna, gonna struggle a little bit here, so I know this gate, I'm just checking for traffic, making sure it doesn't hit the fence, very good cautious driving, thank you sir, but alright, let's cut over to the field. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later.
Hey guys, just checking in. It is six o'clock, or just a little after, and uh, oh, back up real quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're actually just about done with this field. Um, right on time. I was hoping that we would be done, you know, with this before seven o'clock, so it wouldn't get too late. Oh, we still got to do a lot of feeding for the cows tonight before we uh, head to bed. But yeah, this is perfect. We're just gonna go uh, head back, pick up a couple of these little little scragglers along the way um you know it's well when, when you bail in these big fields i mean sometimes you know it's just the pickup radius is not always long enough and uh, these swaths were uh, pretty wide so um we had a good good amount of grass on the field just look at all of the bales that we have i mean this is this is huge this is definitely the most bales that i think we've had thus far except maybe field uh the the weird shaped one i can't think of the number right now i think it's like 102 or something um, that we had, you know, for a long time. But actually, we know how many bales. We can see how many bales we have uh, with this. I don't remember what mod it is, but um, for some reason now I have a I have a bale counter uh, with. It, it might even be the the straw harvest. I, I actually don't. I'm, I don't know. But we actually have a, a bale counter for when we hook up to our baler. So if we just press our little help menu, we can actually see we have. Oh, just ran over that one. We have 55 bales just on this field and that other number is the total amount of bales that um this baler has produced over time so 240 bales have been made i think it would be like this year really but yeah 55 bales on the field so you know the trailer holds 28 so do the math we're going to need a couple of loads uh once we get the trailer down here in the next couple of days but for now we're going to let these sit ferment no rush to get them off the field because they're not useful to us at the moment anyway. So we're just going to go head back for the night and uh, get the cows fed and then call it a day. And you guys know the, the deal with that. Um, I think I'm actually going to hit all of the pens tonight because we are a little bit low uh, on some of the smaller ones. I might see if I got to see how many bales I have. I might be able to get one round on each. If not, then we're going to be a little bit in trouble because we don't really have... Uh, I don't think the store is open at the moment. But, actually, let's just go ahead and uh, drop this off. We'll go check out how many bales we got. And then, see if we can even uh, get a round in for every every barn tonight. Alright, so we do need six per trailer. So, it looks like we have six, six, one more, uh, three, four, and five. Okay, so we actually can get around in tonight for all of the pens we could do one here at the home farm one at the big barn and then one split between the other barns since they don't take that much however we are going to need to run to the store in the morning and go and grab ourselves a trailer load of bales since these are the last ones so no worries there um i'll probably see you guys in the morning the next episode and uh, we'll get our, uh, might be a quick one, just get our fertilizing done and go from there. But either way, I will talk to you guys in the next episode. And I hope that you all have a great week. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Peace.